It's time for a big lift, and you decide you want an edge. So you throw down a central nervous stimulant, like ephedrine, and you hit a new PR. How the shit does that stuff work? Central nervous stimulants. Let's talk about how they work and why they work. So, you're gonna go do a lift, and you want to engage a muscle. Obviously, your central nervous system is now involved. So you go to grab something, like I'm grabbing my phone. When I grab my phone, my brain is sending signals to my fingers to hold onto that phone and squeeze them. But my leg's not engaging, right? Only my hand is. My left hand's just sitting on my leg, right? That's central nervous system activation. You're consciously choosing what part of your body to activate. And then your central nervous system is firing in accordance. But what happens when you take a central nervous stimulant, like say, ephedrine, which is legal in Canada, that's why I'm talking about it and using it as an example. Well, what ends up happening is all those channels that are, have your neurotransmitters in them that fire up when you tell them to are already primed and ready to go. Which means when you go for that big lift, like let's say a deadlift, you go and you grab the bar and you squeeze the bar and those nerves and muscle fibers all down your arm get activated as soon as you squeeze them, but maybe your back's not activated yet or your legs aren't activated and you're just setting up. Well, if you take a central nervous stimulant, before you tell your back to activate and before you tell your legs to activate, they're already primed and ready to go. You just haven't flexed them yet. So you go to, you go to lift and now all this flood of neurotransmitter is ready to go and boom, every little tiny muscle, every little twitch that you need to have happen, happens because your central nervous system and your brain is producing so many neurotransmitters, it can't help but activate everything. And if you've ever taken too much of a central nervous stimulant, and I'm going to speak from experience, you might be just sitting there one day and your hand's doing this. And you look down and you're not telling your hand to shake, but your hand's shaking. Why? Because you've taken so much stimulant that your brain has to cause stim or stimulation to happen. And it just picks a muscle and does it. This stuff can happen with ephedrine, it can happen with caffeine, um, you know, any kind of a stimulant like that. So, that's how they work. Basically, all those neurotransmitters in your brain that activate when you consciously tell your body to activate are already primed and ready to go, and your brain is flush with uh, transmitters to activate all those little muscles. All right? That's why if you take something like a ephedrine before a big lift, all of a sudden you hit a new PR. That's it for now. Uh, any questions, post them down below or send me an email. Uh, I'd like to hear you guys' opinion on uh, what you think about central nervous stimulants. They're illegal in lifting, I know that, but what's your personal experience? Good, bad, ugly. As always, eat like a bodybuilder, train like a powerlifter.